introduce these teams and find out who they are and what they can do. We've got Team 839A, Caution Tape Alpha from Markham, Ontario. And their partner, 252W Wisp from Unionville, Ontario, Canada. Okay, we've got the Canadian connection going on. Let's get this party started in three, two, one, Vex. We are underway and things are happening. We have a robot in motion and we're heading up the center of the field. And yellow and those discs have been distracted from that area. We've got the tip on the blue dispenser. And once again, here comes the red robot into play and following their lead with lots of time. We've got those discs shooting straight up the middle of the field, bouncing off the bumpers, and they're successfully landing and piling up on top of each other. To my left, we've got purple, and that disc is spinning to the other side. The dispensers are being emptied out and in the holding pin of these teams. Caution tape, Alpha and Wisp. If they haven't switched by now, they would have done that on the other player taking over the controls. Red Robot off to that side. What an extension into the third goal zone. Job well down, still scoring, and they're being piled up in that middle of that area. We still have nine seconds left. We'll see where we're gonna go with that. Cheer them on, they've got one more. Here they go, let's get the go. Three, two, one. Oh, what an exciting finish. We'll see that's gonna happen over there, and if that is touching. What an awesome finish, photo finish. That is amazing. Job well done, Caution Tate, Alpha, and Wisp. Grant, back to you, please. <laughs> I am here with Matt, the driver of Caution Tape. Matt, how you doing? Good. Good. You just put up an incredible performance. You're just good? Uh, shaking. <laughs> Matt, we chatted earlier about your incredible robot. It's a design that no one else has seen before. Tell us a little bit about it. So we have a ramp that allows you to shoot discs over other people's discs. This way we can uh, allow more discs into the four point zone and get rid of the friction issue because it's in the air. And how did you come up with this? So we were watching another caution tape robot at, um, a, a ma uh, at a tournament and one of the fields that they were on, there was a little bump on it and their disc would hit that bump and flip over and landing on top of each other. It was a field fault, but we saw it as a great opportunity. Interesting, interesting. I think we have some footage of this, uh, of this mechanism. Chat in the video booth, let's take a look. So what do y'all think? Matt, so I, I'm, I'm actually speechless. Like that is the coolest thing I've seen in this game thus far. Um, so you know this game pretty well. How do you think you did in that match without looking again? Oh, um, <laughs> maybe a 280. You think that was a 280? All right, well, Tyler and Bobby know for sure. What do we got? All righty, thanks Grant. The scores are in for match number nine and what? That was an absolutely insane match with a score of 269 points. Going straight into first place is now Engineering. Taking a look back at the leaderboard, Technology coming in second with a score of 260, Research with a score of 255, and 